the birth of Esau and Jacob. These are the generation of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham fathered Isaac. And Isaac was 40 years of old when he took Rebekah, the daughter of Bethu, and Aram of Padam, the sister of Laban, the Aramean, to be his wife. The Isaac prayed to the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord granted his prayer. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. The children struggled together within her. She said, If thus, why is this happening to me? So she went to inquire the Lord, and the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb. The two people from within you shall be divided. The one shall be stronger than the other. The older shall serve the younger. When the, her days to give birth was completed, behold, there were twins in her womb. The first came out red, all his body like a hairy cloak, so they called his name Esau. Afterwards his brother came out with his hands holding Esau's heel, so his name was called Jacob. Isaac was sixty years old when she bore them. When the boys grew up, Esau was a skillful hunter, a man of the field, while Jacob was a quiet man dwelling in tents. Isaac loved Esau because he ate of his game, but Rebekah loved Jacob. Esau sells his birthright. Once, when Jacob was cooking stew, Esau came in from the field, and he was exhausted. And Esau said to Jacob, Let me eat some of the red stew, for I am exhausted. Therefore his name was called Edom. Jacob said, Sell me your birthright now. Esau said, I am about to die. What uh, use is the birthright to me? Jacob said, Swear to me now. So that he swore to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and lentil stew, and he ate and drank and rose and went his way. Then Esau despised his birthright. God promised to Isaac. In fact, chapter 26. Now there was a famine in the land be beside the former famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to Ger, to Ambivalich, the king of Philistines. And the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall tell you. Sojourn in that land, and I will be with you and will bless you. For to you and to your offspring I will give all these lands. I will establish the oath that I swore to Abraham your father. I will multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven. I will give to the offsprings all the lands, and in your offspring all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Because Abram obeyed the, my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. Isaac and Abimelech. So Isaac settled in Ger, where the men of the place asked him about his wife. He said, She is my sister, for he feared to say my wife, thinking, lest the men of the place should kill me because Rebekah, because she was attractive in appearance. When he had uh, been there a long time, a village king of the Philistine looked out of the window and saw Isaac laughing with Rebekah, his wife. And Bimelech called Isaac and said, Behold, she is your wife. How then could you say she is my sister? Isaac said to him, Because I thought, lest I die because of her. And Bimelech said, What is this that you have done to us? One of the people might easily have laid with your wife, and you would have brought guilt upon us. So Ambivalich warned all of the people, saying, Whoever touches this one man or his wife shall surely be put to death. And Isaac sowed in the land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold. The Lord blessed him, and the man became rich and gained more and more until he became very wealthy. He had possessions of flocks and herds and many servants, so the Philistines envied him. Now the Philistines had stopped and filled with earth all the wells 
that his father's servant had dug in the days of Abraham, his father, and Abimelech said to Isaac, Go away from us, for you are much mightier than we. So Isaac departed from there and encamped in the valley of Ger, and settled there, and Isaac dug again the wells of water that had been dug in the days of Abraham his father, which the Philistine had stopped after the death of Abraham. He gave them the names that his father had given them. When Isaac, uh, servants dug in the valley and found there a well of spring water, the herdsmen of Ger quarreled with Isaac herdsmen, saying, The water is ours. So he called the name of the well Urza. And because they contended with him, then they dug another well and they quarreled over that one. Also, so he called the name Simna. And he moved from there and dug another well, and they did not quarrel over it. So he called his name Rehoboth, saying, For now the Lord has made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. For there he went to Beersheba, and the Lord appeared to him and same night, and said, I am the God of Abraham your father. Fear not, for I am with you, and will bless you, and multiply your offsprings, for my servant Abraham's sake. So he built an altar there, and called upon the name of the Lord, and pitched his tent there. And there Isaac's servants dug a well. When Abimelech went to him from Ger, the Ahaza, the advisor in Philah, the commander of the army, Isaac said to him, Why have you come to me, seeing you hate me, and have sent me away from you? He said, We plainly that the Lord had been with you. So we said, Let there be a swarm pact between us, between you and us. Let us make a covenant with you, that you will do us no harm, just as we have not touched you and have done you nothing but good, and has sent you away in peace. You are now the blessed of Lord. So he made him a feast, and they ate and drank. In the morning they rose early and exchanged oaths, and Isaac sent him on their way, and they departed from him to in peace. The same night, day Isaac's servant came and took him up about the well that they had dug, and said to him, We have found water. It is called Sheba. They, for the name of the city is Beersheba to this day. When Esau was 40 years old, he took Judah, the wife, the daughter of Bera, the Hittite, to be his wife. Basement, the daughter of Elon, the Hittite, and they made life bitter for Isaac and Rebekah. Isaac blessed Jacob. Chapter 27. When Isaac was old and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, he called Esau, his older son, and said to him, My son, and he answered, Here I am. He said, Behold, I am old. I do not know the day of my death. Now then, take your weapon, your quiver, and your bow. Go out to the fields and hunt game for me, and prepare for me delicious food, such as I love, and bring to me so that I may eat, that my soul may bless you before I die. Now Rebekah was listening when Isaac spoke to his son Esau. So when Esau went to the field to hunt for game and bring it, Rebekah said to her son Jacob, I heard your father speak to your brother Esau. Bring me game and prepare for me delicious food that I may eat it and bless you before the Lord before I die. Therefore, my son, obey my voice as I command you. Go to the flock and bring me two good young goats so that I may prepare for them delicious food for your father, such as he loves. And you shall bring it to your father to eat so that he may bless you before he dies. But Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, Behold, my brother Esau is a hairy man, and I am smooth man. Perhaps my father will feel me, and I shall seem to be mocking him and making, bringing a curse upon myself and not a blessing. His mother said to him, Let your curse be on me, my son. Only obey my voice and go. 
bring them to me. So he went and took them and brought them to his mother. And his mother prepared delicious food such as his father loved. Then Rebekah took the his best garment of Esau, the older which were, were in this house, and put them on Jacob, his younger, younger son. And the skins of the young goats she put on his hands and on the smooth part of his neck. And she put the delicious food and the bread which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. So he went unto his father and said, My father, he said, Here I am, who are you? My son Jacob said to his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. I have done as you told me. Now sit up and eat my gain, that your soul may be blessed. But Isaac said to her son, How is it that you have found it so quickly, my son? He answered, Because the Lord your God granted me success. Then Isaac said to Jacob, Please come near, that I may feel you, my son, to know whether you are really my son Esau or not. So Jacob went near to Isaac, his father, and felt him and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he did not recognize him, because his hands were hairy like his brother's Esau hands. So he blessed him. He said, Are you really my son Esau? He answered, I am. Then he said, Bring it near to me. I may eat of my son's game and bless you. So he brought it near to him, and he ate, and he brought him wine, and he drank. Then the father Isaac said to him, Come near and kiss me, my son. So he came near and kissed him, and Isaac smelled the smell of his garment and blessed him and said, See the smell of my son is as the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. May God give you the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of grain and wine. Let people serve you and nations bow down to you. Be Lord over your brothers and may your mother's son bow down to you. Cursed be everyone who curses you. Blessed be everyone who blesses you. As soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, when Jacob had scarcely gone out of, from the presence of Isaac, his father Esau, his brother, came in from the hunting. He also prepared delicious food and brought it to his father. And he said to his father, Let my father rise and eat of his son's game that you may bless me. His father Isaac said to him, Who are you? He answered, I am your son, your firstborn Esau. Then Isaac trembled uh, very violently and said, Who was it then that hunted me, game and brought it to me, and I ate it all before you came? And I have blessed him. Yes, and he shall be blessed. As soon as Esau heard the words of his father, he cried out with an exceedingly great and bitter cry and said to his father, Bless me, even me also, O oh my father. But he said, Your brother came deceitfully, and he has taken away your blessing. Esau said, It is not rightly named Jacob, for he has cheated me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold now, he has taken away my blessing. Then he said, have you not reserved a blessing for me? Isaac answered and said to Esau, Behold, I have made him lord over you and all your brothers. I have given to him your, for servants, and with grain and wine I have sustained him. What then can I do for you, my son? Esau said to his father, Have you but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Then Isaac his father answered and said to him, Behold, away from the fatness of the earth shall you dwell and be, and away from the dew of the heavens on high. By your sword you shall live, and you shall serve your brother, and when you grow restless, you shall break his yoke from your neck. Now Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing with which his father had blessed him. And Esau said to him, The days of mourning for my father are approaching, then I will kill my brother Jacob. But the words of Esau, her, her older son, was told to Rebekah. So she sent and called Jacob to her younger son and said to him, 
Behold, your brother Esau confesses himself about you being planning to kill you. Now, therefore, my son, obey my voice, arise, flee to Laban, my brother in Haran, and stay with him a while until your brother Fury turns away, until your brother's anger turns away from you and he forgets what you have done to him. Then I will sin and bring you from there. Why should I be rid of you both in one day? Then Rebekah said to Isaac, I loathe my life because of the Hittite woman. If Jacob marries one of the Hittite women like these, one of the women of the land, what good will my life be to me? Jacob sent to Laban, chapter 28. Then Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and directed him, You must not take a wife from the Canaanite women. Arise, go to Padam Aram, the house of Bethel, your mother's father, and take as your wife from there one of the daughters of Laban. Your mother's brother, God Almighty, bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you, that you may become a company of peoples. May you give the blessing to Abraham, of Abraham to you and your offspring with you, that you may take possession of the land of your sojourning that God give to Abraham. Thus Isaac sent Jacob away, and he went to Badam Aram, to Laban, the son of Bethel, the Armenian, the brother of Rebekah, Jacob, and Esau's mother. Now Esau saw that Isaac had blessed Jacob and sent him away to Padam Aram to take a wife from there, and that as he blessed him, he directed him, You must not take your wife from the Canaanite women. And the, Jacob had obeyed his father, and his mother had gone to Padan Aram. So when Esau saw that Canaanite woman did not please Isaac, his father, Esau went to Ishmael and took as his wife beside the wives he had Mahalah, the daughter of Ishmael, and Abram's son, the sister of Naboth. Jacob's dream. Jacob left Beersheba and went toward Haran. He came to a certain place and stayed there that night, because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones of the place, he put it under his head and lay down in the place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, there was a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angel of God was ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. The land of which you lie, I will give to you and to your offspring. Your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth, and you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south, and in you and your offspring shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to the land, for I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place. I did not know it. And he was afraid, and he said, How awesome is this place. This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. So early in the morning Jacob took the stone that he had put under his head and set it up as a pillar and poured oil on the top of it. He called the name of the place Bethel, but the name of the city was Luz at first. Then the Jacob made a vow, saying, If God will be with me, and will keep me in the way that I go, and will give me bread to eat, and clothing to wear, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then the Lord shall be my God, and this stone which I have set up for a pillar shall be God's house. And all that you give me, I will give a full tenth to you. Jacob marries Leah and Rachel. Chapter 29. Then Jacob went on his journey and came to the land of the people of the east. As he looked, he saw a well in the field, and behold, 
three flocks of sheep lying beside it. For out of that well the flocks were watered, the stones of the well mouth was large. And when all of the flocks were gathered there, the shepherds would roll the stones from the mouth of the well and the water the sheep and put the stones back in its place over the mouth of the well. Jacob said to them, My brothers, where did you come from? They said, We are from Haran. He said to them, Do you know Laban, the son of Nahor? He said, We know him. He said to them, It is well with him. They said, It is well. And see, Rachel is his daughter, is coming with the sheep. He said, Behold, it is still high day. It is not time for the livestock to be gathered together. Water and sheep and go pasture them. But they said, We cannot until all the flocks are gathered together and the stone is rolled away from the mouth of the well that we water the sheep. While he was still speaking with them, Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she was shepherdess. Now, as soon as Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, and the sheep of Laban, his mother's brothers, Jacob came near and rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the flock of Laban, his mother's brother. Then Jacob kissed Rachel and wept aloud, and Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's kinsman and that he was Rebekah's son, and she ran and told her father. As soon as Laban heard the news about Jacob, his sister, son, he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house. Jacob told Laban all these things, and Laban said to him, Surely you are my bone and my flesh. And he stayed with him a month. Then Laban said to Jacob, Because you are my kinsman, should you therefore serve me for nothing? Tell me, what shall your wages be? Now Laban and two daughters, the name of the older was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. Leah's eyes were weak, but Rachel was beautiful in form and appearance. Jacob loved Rachel. He said, I will serve you seven years for your younger daughter Rachel. Laban said, It is better that I give her to you than that I should give her to any other man. Stay with me. So Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and that they seemed to be him but a few years because of the love he had for her. Then Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife, that I may go to her, for my time is completed. So I, Laban gathered together all the people of the place and made a feast. But in the evening he took his daughter Leah and brought her to Jacob, and he went in to her. Laban gave his female servant Zilpah to his daughter Leah to be her servant. And in the morning, behold, it was Leah. And Jacob said to Laban, What is this that you have done to me? Did I not serve you for Rachel? Why then have you deceived me? Laban said, It is not so done in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. Complete the week of this one, and we will give you the other also in return of serving me another seven years. Jacob did so and completed her week. Then Laban gave him his daughter Rachel to be his wife. Laban gave his female servant Bela to the daughter Rachel to her, her servant. So Jacob went to Rachel also and he loved Rachel more than Leah and served Laban for another seven years.